Him it. You set up another reef tank? Yes, I did. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Him Dylan. I'm back at it again with yet again another video on the Curry Coral YouTube channel. Today's video, I just set up a new 20 Peninsula. I'm just gonna be going over the whole tank with you guys. It's been set up for almost like two weeks. So let's just go over the whole thing, my plans for future builds and how you guys can set up your own nano reef tank as well. Let's get to it. So here is the 20 Peninsula. It's just sitting on a quick DIY stand I built. I'll get more into that uh, later in the video, but it's just sitting near my uh, 120 it it looks super nice it's like a almost i wouldn't really call it a room divider just because it's not really big enough to divide a room but right when you walk in the door it's to your right it's a pretty cool little tank i just wanted it because uh in my main display my softies and whatnot were not growing just because my nutrients were so low due to uh all the acroporas and stuff i had to keep my nutrients low Basically what I did is uh, for the first week I just cycled a little, I, I wouldn't even call it a cycle, I just threw in some Dr. Tim's and ghost fed a little bit. Uh, then after a week I threw in one more bottle just to make sure that bacteria didn't die and there was actually still bacteria in the tank. And I went and picked up these two little baby clownfish from a local breeder. His name is Trent. He uh, just breeds a whole bunch of clownfish. I literally buy all my clownfish just from him so shout out to Trent. But uh, I bought these two little, like, I, I, they almost look like Mocha Vinci's. He just has a whole bunch of clownfish. These ones were uh, the coolest in my opinion. But yeah, like I said, they almost look like Mocha Vinci's. Uh, but yeah, I was testing the almost, I think it was like a day or two ago. And my nit or, uh, my ammonia was, I think it was like, what, 0.5. So I think the cycle is slowly but surely completing. Uh, now the nitrate should spike, then the nitrites. And yeah, then the cycle should be complete. So within hopefully another two months, I can start adding uh, some of those zoas and stuff and just seeing how they do. But as of right now, I'm just cycling the tank. Uh, these two clownfish are tiny. Like it's hard to explain how small they are. I'm pretty sure they're only about a month old or less, but yeah, really cool. Uh, I also made the scape out of, uh, I think it's called Slate Rock from BRS. I'll get more into that in a little bit. As you guys can see, cable management is not very good, but let me just show you guys what I have in the chambers. So in the first chamber, I just have some filter floss along with some, uh, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Matrix uh, Media. So I just have a bag of that in, at the bottom. I did not think that little bag would be enough. So in the second chamber, I threw in another small bag of it. I think I got like uh, the second smallest amount of Matrix you can like the bottle there's like that small one and then there's a little bit of a larger one but I also have a cobalt heater the best heater you can buy basically especially for a nano tank I have an auto top off but for some reason it's not working I think it's the pump so I ordered a new one off of BRS here's an AI prime this is just the HD not the 16 but I'm planning on having two of them uh, I bought the hanging kit I'll be hanging it from the ceiling right there so there will be two on this tank uh, I also just got the uh, screen top for the actual tank right now. I just have like a little piece of like plexiglass or something on top. But yeah, overall this tank is doing well. As you guys can see, I'm just pointing out where the light is going to go. Hopefully they're going to be spaced well. And here is the stand I was telling you guys about. Uh, it's basically just made out of two by fours and then I wrapped it with some half inch plywood. And after that I kind of stained it. Kind of a little bit of a blotchy stain and it's not very a smooth finish but i just quickly threw it together because i really wanted this tank to just start cycling so you guys can see it's literally right next to the 120 so and you guys can see where the door is on the right so you literally walk in see this tank and then see the 120 but these two little clownfish are doing great it's hard to show how small they truly are uh the smaller one must be almost less than half an inch like tiny and that larger one must be half an inch like they are both small the only other fish i plan on adding is probably like a radiant rest i'm thinking about adding a tang but this uh tank is a little too small for a tang maybe a baby one thank you all for watching the video make sure you hit that like button subscribe for more content 
Recently, I've been just getting a lot more subscribers, which I really, really appreciate. I've just been really trying to get videos out, but school has been just crushing me right now. So I've literally had no time. I barely have time to even do a water change on my tanks. So hopefully I can get into a more consistent routine with these videos. But hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Again, make sure you just hit that like button. It's highly appreciated. And even if you subscribe, that is even more appreciated. So again, like, subscribe, share. It's your boy Hema Dylan from Curry Corals, and see you later. Wow.